Okay. All right, scoot, scoot, scoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, this place, where are we? Where we are, I don't know where. But it will be okay. Here, Bob. What about good morning? Good morning, Grom. Good morning, Fruit Fiji. 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 Did the kids do that once upon a time? Fiji. 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 Pop quiz. What was? Our family's first ever country as the Bagalos family. It was Fiji. <laughs> Fiji. <laughs> That's funny stuff. You feel me, Dorothy? I feel you, Daddy. Bula. Everyone here says Bula. What do you do back to them? Say Bula. How about that flight? We are boarding Fiji Airways brand new aircraft. Oh. 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 You alright? Oh, help him, help him. Help him. Alright, wait, wait, go slow, go slower now. Oh, oh, help him, help him. Give me his scally. Hula. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Where are we going? Fiji. And how do you say hello in Fijian? Bula. Bula. Yeah. You good? Just break dancing in business? So many options. Okay, what do you want? Okay. Airways. Please. I need to go party. Okay, let's go party. And immediately I was like, why do I not come here all the time? And immediately reminded that these people, the Fijian people, are the greatest on earth. There was something actually in the airline video that said, what did it say? Oh shoot, what is it? We are born into happiness. Some people are born into wealth. We are born into happiness and there's plenty to spare. And I thought that was so beautiful and so accurate that there's so much happiness here in Fiji and the people love to share it. <laughs> oh, this whole area? <laughs> This is bigger than us. Everything here, this is all our space. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys. <gasps> Do you see what I see? It's huge. It's huge. What? It's so big. <laughs> Wait, look at this. What is this? Oh, I think it's the same pool. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, this is the spot right here, Mina. From bed to pool, through the window. Let's just jump in. Yeah, well, let's continue. Oh, oh. Let's keep exploring oh, and then we can. Don't do that, please. 
<laughs> Guys, I can't. This is it. This is the place. This is my room. Like... Oh, cute. This is my no. Room. Oh, this is the definitely the kids' room. Oh my. No way. This is room. What's up there, guys? This is it. This is the place. Who designed this? Whoa. We gotta send them a thank you card. Yeah. All right, I'm coming up. Bed. Oh, fun! Those are our beds. So fun! <gasps> Kids' room! We got four! Bunkin' beds! This is the kids' room. This is so cute. <laughs> this place. All right, let's keep exploring. Guys, we just need to have meaningful conversations in this area, this conversation pit. And let's check the other houses. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is let's call some friends <laughs> good job Kelly yeah welcome to paradise welcome to the six senses Fiji first impressions go my first impressions are, I just love Fijians. <laughs> I love this so much. It's better than all the rest. Mom, where's the bathroom? You'll find it. Keep looking. And of course, paradise wouldn't be paradise without an outdoor shower. <laughs> Jess, yeah. do you know there's a, another bedroom over here? Where? Oh, that thing. Here you go. Oh, thank you, buddy. Wow. Thanks, strong boy. Ready? Yeah, swimsuits on for sure. Let's go. I think we start in the ocean, then jump in the pool. <laughs> Who is that smoking? Right in front of our face, guys? Oh, we play in the pool a lot. A, a lot. lot. I repeat, a lot. We do it like three times a day or more. <laughs> Find yourself a dad that'll do bubbles with you in the pool for hours. It has just meant a lot for me this trip because it shows a lot of hard work and time has gone a long ways for us. For sure. Uh, this week we're working with Fiji Vacations. If you come to Polynesia, make sure you use a travel agent. You will save so much time, so much money, things will be so much smoother. And this time we got to stay at a place called Six Senses. Okay, Six Senses. This was a first for us. This we had was heard, our first we had heard the rumors. Ever Six Senses? The rumors are true, my friends. Wow, six senses, and they're all around the world, so we've got some work to do. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about this house? I like the big pool and the bridge. There's like a bridge oh. across the pool, and it's so fun to jump off of. Mm -hmm. It's so fun, and it's so big. And sometimes we jump out of the window. <laughs> 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 Okay, guys, stop. Stop smiling. Okay, okay. Think of the saddest thing you can. The meerkat's tired. <laughs> okay, ready? Ready? Okay, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep. Hey, Callie.
Daddy, what's your favorite part about Dad, this house? If you're looking at the house, that's <laughs> Cut that out from the video. <laughs> Say, what's your favorite part about this house? Um, I like how, like, um, um, there's like, you see, um, there's a house that so you can, like, have the, the camera call. can't see it, Callie. The camera can't see it. Just, just one sec. You know. Okay, start over. Okay. Callie, what's your favorite part about this house? Oh, what? I know, I know. We frogs. Know. Oh, there's so many frogs at night. Bro, this is crazy. Me and my that's a toad. That's a toad. That you think like so? Yeah, that's a toad. I mean, that's he's bumpy, bumpy, but they're all the same, but some have bumps and some don't. Oh, should we hold it? No. Three. See this one? This one's smooth. No, three. Oh, three. Look, look, one right there. One right there. One right oh, there. there's so many. Callie. Oh, one right there and one right there. Callie, why are you on my back? Hey, Buzzy, Daddy. Scared. Wow. Wait, but Dad, what? Well, okay, how about, but Callie? Oh, the frogs. There's, there's so like, many. Like 50 at and night. they're very dumb. We yep. step on them. We, like, threaten to step on them. We, like, put a shoe on them softly, and they don't do anything. Yeah, and then we so that's why there's a lot hard, of hard, and they don't they don't do it. We anything. don't go hard. We go a little hard. Like I'm not gonna lie. they kind of like smash. Them. All right, what was your favorite thing about Six Senses, Fiji? The surf. <laughs> the surf, huh? Okay, they told us when we arrived that the Six Senses has the best spa in Fiji, and it was incredible. But we did this really cool activity that I loved oh yeah you were so stoked on this i was so stoked on it yes it was it was like a what do you call apothecary? it apothecary oh yeah oh yeah they have this apothecary do you like that small cat what are we making no i love it can i i like it yeah me too okay. that's good yep they can share this wait dad are we making it again what are we making body scrubs yeah, and you're gonna you scrub your body with that. No? And you can go and you pick your like base, like your salt or your uh, your scrub, and then you pick your oils. You have all these different oils to choose from, and then you can pick any herb or citrus or No, you vanilla. missed your favorite part. You gotta go in the garden oh, and, gotta... and forage for yeah. your own stuff. It... So you're picking the cinnamon and the lemongrass, and then all of that you would pound up into your own personal custom body. Let's talk about silence. Let's talk about surfing. Surfing here was so, so fun. fun. We had the most epic family surf day we've ever had in our lives. Yeah, number one, best day ever. Wow, look at that. Good job, bud. Wow. I think you set a world record with that one. Was that fun? Holy cow, that was so fun. All right, you want to grab my leash? If it was my last day on earth, I wouldn't be in church. I'm sorry, God, but it's my last day in this universe. I need to see birds and buzz and bees, green grass, evergreen trees. I've seen people who have been mean to me. And why would I waste my time? All my favorite people need teary eyes. Where did we? Where? I got a 
Oops. I 13. Stop. Fold up. Okay, stop. Okay, Use that. Okay. Okay, okay Callie, where is the place that we served? Pools. Swimming pools. Yeah, swimming pools. And pool. why do you call that? Because it's so clear in the ocean. It's so clear and there's turquoise and, and it has lots of reef and fish. And it's so pretty and the waves are so good. There you go, now down the line, Jeff. Down the line. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go for it, Daddy. This wave. Wait, 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 okay. Let's really get into this, okay? okay? Let's really pick this apart. So there's this area, this region in Fiji, and it's just within this small little zone, so many different surf breaks that you can pick from. A lot of lefts, a lot of rights, some steep, some barreling waves, some slow grad. Oh, just it's a menu. It's like, about surfing. It's like it's like a buffet, ridiculous. a lunch buffet of day. surf options. And so one day we decided, hey, we want something full family friendly. And they gave us exactly that from this incredible menu of lunch. I mean, surf options. <laughs> and it was epic. Sometimes I lay under the moon. I thank God I'm breathing And then I pray Don't take me soon I am here for a reason So <laughs> Okay So you never know what the swell is going to be like When you get to Fiji, right? And we were just hoping there would be some like good family days We're kind of in the, off, the shoulder, shoulder season Look at me talk Are you so proud of me? So, so cute <laughs> Okay, and uh, but a lot of the days were too big for and the kids, so you went out with Justin and Paul a bunch. You went out a bunch with them every day on the big kid surf waves. And wait, 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 oh, because there's a famous surf break called Cloud Break, and I was like, hit me with some Cloud Break, let's go see. Woo! Good boy scrambling. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's a solid six to seven footer. Eight footer. Oh, gosh. Oh. He took me to cloud break for the first time ever in my life. I've been in some big, uncomfortable surf, but I've always given it a go and caught at least one wave. This was the first time we pulled up, and I like felt deep down. I was like, if Jess knew how I was feeling, she would tell me, please don't go. I felt like it was a, it was a wrong decision for me to get on the water, and I knew it inside my heart. You're not making me feel any better. But I got on the water, okay? But for my first time ever, 
I didn't even try for a wave. It was so, so gnarly big. Uh, I was grateful that I could like feel the energy and feel the power and like scrape up and paddle up and over. But I Babe, you gotta, definitely you gotta listen did not to try to catch a wave. And not go out when you feel that. That's like... It was... Oh, gosh. So, so then we go to a different spot. Uh, very fast, left-hander, my specialty. And I drop in on this wave and I'm and immediately no, just expecting a regular wave. I honestly didn't expect anything too special. And all of a sudden it starts to suck out below me, wall up next to me, and then pitch over me. And all of a sudden I'm like, it is happening. And I go to the front of my board and I should have, if I were a better surfer, I could have achieved my lifelong goal of getting barreled, meaning going into the barrel, coming out of the barrel, and catching it on film. Those are my stipulations. If I was a better surfer, I would have had more speed, got up higher in the wave, and made it in and out. I just let it happen to me. I just held onto the front of my board. It was like, what happens, happens. And I went into the barrel, it clamped down on me, and I didn't make it out. Run for your life. You came here ready to fight on this night. You better just run for your life. down on me and I didn't make it up. I won't give up on us. Bye! What did you talk about ice cream? Oh yes. Oh yeah. Ice cream. Let's go. Callie yeah. ordered black rice. And he's like, are you sure? Yeah. He said it. Like it. it did not taste good. It, it tasted like black rice. Because that's what it yeah, flavor because it was the flavor. Mm. did wind foiling. I mean e-foiling. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, we'll redo it. Okay, hey, when you're feeling ready, slowly start to stand up. Are right, you ready to lift up? Oh, nice, Manila. You all right? All good? Oh, yeah, girl. Dorothy! All right, the kids are hooked. Here comes e-foil session two with the coolest guide coach in the world, Curtis. Curtis, today's our last day here, and we asked the kids, what do you want to do on your last day? And this is what they wanted to do. Really? Yeah. <laughs>
goodness, the kids on the e-foils. This is what I'm loving. I love that as we do our travels, the kids are just kind of picking up scuba and e-foil and surfing, just all these like unique skills that they'll have the rest of their lives. Those foils were massive and really easy to learn on. They were really but still, cool. I mean, if you've tried e-foiling, it gets scary once they start flying. And I was yeah. so impressed that our kids mastered it yeah, they did as great. well as they did. Yeah. It was super fun. It was our first time doing it, and for our first but time, it, it was kind of scary. But you wouldn't go high, just a little high. But it felt really scary. But it was also really fun, and it felt like you were flying, and everything was quiet once you were flying. We, Let's talk about the village. Yeah, we we drank something called like what's it called? kava. Oh yeah, kava. And it's like it it's a like, root. It tastes like cereal. No toothpaste. No, it's, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's a traditional drink, it is called kava, and then they drink it to you clap, and then you drink it, and it makes your tongue go numb. Bula! always a highlight in Fiji is going to the village. Always. Mm -hmm. I love these villages. They're so welcoming and seeing how they live. This is my favorite part. This is why Fiji is so awesome. Immediately you walk in and our guide is like, look, you can see every door is wide open. The Fijians community, they have this their open doors door are always open. They are always there to help anybody. And I was like, what a beautiful sentiment in life. To be able to live in, a, I wish we could all live in a world. How many communities where your doors out are there always that open? They literally have like bars on their windows and <gasps> triple locks and you know all the and gates Fijians and are just they're in it together. They're there to help each other, and it's it's beautiful. Man, the Fijian people, I just I love you so much. You're so beautiful. <laughs> You don't need to if you don't want it, Kelly. Nice little alcoholic on the car. Okay. So you clap before you hold it. Drink it and then clap three times. I love that when we traveled here years and years ago, we ranked Fiji as the number one most kind people in the world. And here we are 90 countries later and they still, they still hold that number one totally. spot for the most kind, welcoming people in the entire world. Oh, this part's the worst. Just the worst. It's heartbreaking. Oh, Jess, why such a heartbreaking song? Oh.